Hi, I'm Ryan Roth, Hardware Solutions Product Manager at Radiant Research. Today I want to discuss our Wattnet Express Software Management Dashboard. And that includes our test results summary, our news widget, and our export widget. Then we're going to also look at how to import a meter manufacturer file. So on the screen in front of you, you see our Wattnet Express Management Dashboard. This is the home screen that appears anytime you open up our Wattnet Express software. From here, you can access other screens, such as equipment, or reports, or windboard, but you can very easily get back to the management dashboard just by selecting Home. Notice after selecting Home, these other screens are still available, similar to tab browsing, just so you can easily switch between screens. Looking at the management dashboard, you'll see several different widgets here. Here on the left, we have our test results summary widget. Next to that is our file export widget. And then down at the bottom, we have our news widget. So the news widget is something that gets updated automatically if your PC is connected to the internet and it tells you things such as what's the latest software versions available, where is rating going to be as far as meter schools and events or things, uh, hardware, software, sales support, contact information, things of that nature. Um, up above that we have our test results summary. The test results summary, summary is something that gives, really it gives a summary of how many meters are being tested and then a breakdown of the test results based on the defined date range that you've set across the top. This information will then update on a regular interval that you define in the options tab. So imagine you got a room full of test boards, they're all tied to a central database and you're receiving real-time data on the testing performance across all of those. Next to that we have our file export widget. This is a tool that allows data to be exported to a file using pre-configured export layouts for meters, CTs, PTs, sites, standards, transducers, you know, a lot of different uh, equipment types. Let's take a quick look at an export layout and what it looks like. If I go to Admin, Export Settings, you can see it's very easy for me to add an export structure. I can then define where, uh, you know, what file paths am I going to export this data to? What kind of file is it? Is there a delimit character? Uh, are there header rows? Uh, and then most importantly, what data do I want to export to? Once I've defined these export layouts, I can then either set an export scheduler. The scheduler allows me to export on a daily best basis, a weekly basis, every eight hours, right? It gives me a lot of uh, customization there. Or I can go to my file export widget and export manually. You'll notice I have a couple of uh, uh, items already under my uh, file export widget for say I wanted to export readings or a daily meter test or current transformer data or if I had a CIS export. export. But if I want to add a new one, it's very simple. Simply select add. From here if I right click, I can rename it. Let's just call it meter export. Then I can right click and then actually define that export layout. I can select what type of equipment am I ex exporting? What export definition do I want to use? Do I want to export based on a date range or an equipment range or both? Once I've defined it, I can execute that export structure either by double clicking on it or by right clicking and selecting run. Once I execute it, it creates that file at the fi file path that I've defined in the export layout very easy to do. Another thing we're commonly asked to do is import data. Whether you buy a box of 4 meters, a pallet of 96 meters, or 10 pallets of meters, typically the meter manufacturer is going to send you a manufacturer file. Um, I have an example of a manufacturer file here, and typically as part of that file it's usually a pretty basic file structure. Things like a meter number, uh, what form is it, you know, what uh, some basic test results, full load, light load, power factor, and a test date. Sometimes these files come in and they're not in the same structure based on which manufacturer you pur purchased from. And that's okay, because we can create as many import structures as we need to. You'll notice this one actually has a header row, right? So we need to be able to accommodate for that. So this example file has a header row and it has 96 meters here. So when I go into my Wattnet Express software, I can easily import that First of all, let's take a look at the import structure I created. So in the import structure, you can see I've you know, matched those same data points with my meter number, form base, pulse constant, my test data, and the test date. I also defined at the bottom that this one has a header row, so we need to disregard that, that first row. And 
then we defined our uh, date format. Once this is complete, go to my equipment tab, add equipment. I'm going to be importing electric meters. I'm going to be importing by a manufacturer file. This is the manufacturer uh, import definition that I'm going to use. And let's browse to that file that we just looked at. Once that's complete, I simply save. I say yes, that is the meter code I want to use, and it tells me that 96 electric meter records have been successfully imported. Importing and exporting meter test data is incredibly simple with your Wattnet Express software. Any questions you have, please contact us at 765-449-5576 or email us at technicalsupport at radiantresearch.com. Thank you.